Hi guys, this is Drew Brashler with DBB Audio. I'm here with the Behringer Wing, and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the main bus section. Now on the Behringer Wing, there's actually now four main buses, and you can use those in a multitude of different ways. By default, when you initialize the console, it's going to give you a main left right, and that's going to be on main one. And we can see that by just pressing select on our main one, and it's right here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to title this main left right. And so now we can see that over here, it says main left right. Now, if I was wanting to also set this up with maybe a subwoofer as an auxiliary feed for sending only my kick drum or bass guitar to the subwoofers, but not have all of the music and all of the vocal microphones and maybe my pastor microphone, I don't want those things to go to the subwoofers. I just want my bass guitar and my kick drum to go to the subs. So let's go ahead and set that up. Now, by default, the mains are all set up in a stereo configuration. And so if we wanted to set up a subwoofer, we would want that to be in a mono. Most situations, you're not going to be able to tell the difference between a left and a right subwoofer in a big venue. All of them are going to act as one subwoofer. So let's just make our lives simpler and make it a mono setup. So I'm going to select main two, and I'm going to go to the next tab down and I'm going to click this mono button. And when I do that, I'll notice that my stereo light shifts down to mono, just like that. Now that I have this set up in mono, let's go ahead and name this. So I'm gonna go back to home, give it an icon, and give it a name of sub. Z. I like to call them subs, because I typically have more than one. All right, so now we have our main left, right, and our subwoofer. Now, first thing I wanna do is make sure to turn this up to unity gain, as when I push volume, I'm wanting to hear it in the main PA. So let's go ahead and see how we route our channels into those main buses. So the main things that I wanna have going into the subs bus is going to be my bass guitar, maybe some tracks, keys, maybe some synth, and then definitely kick drum and floor tom and rack tom. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So I'm going to select my bass guitar and I'm going to go down into my main bus sends here on my bass. And we can see that on this bass guitar, we have zero dB unity gain on main one going to my main left right and that is on but i have nothing going to my subs so all i have to do to get this bass guitar into the subs is by pressing on and i can vary this volume either on the screen by touching this or using this rotary knob and that is how i can vary the amount of volume from this channel to the subwoofers so if i ended up using the bass guitar in the subs and i found that i was a little bit too much bass in the room through the subs i could just simply go and turn this down a little bit Let's go ahead and route the rest of the channels. So my keys, my tracks. I'm not going to route any of my vocal microphones to the subwoofers, because that typically just causes feedback. Here's my kick drum, my floor tom, and my rack tom. So now I have all of my bass generating instruments going to my main left, right, and my subs. And I have my other instruments that don't make those bass frequencies just going to my main left, right. Now, I will typically use a console that has multiple main buses in a way where I send all of the music down one bus and all of the vocals down the other bus. And then I can actually compress those differently so that I can always make the vocals come a little bit out on top of the band. And then I'll use what's called a matrix to then group those two things together, sum them together, and send them out to all the different destinations. And I'm going to cover that in my matrix video that's coming up soon. But on my next video, I'm going to be showing you how to actually get the output of these main buses out to the physical outputs on the back of the Behringer Wing or any of your AES-50 connected devices. So keep an eye out for that. Thank you so much.